Hello, in this video, we will see how we can create a partition in Windows 10 or Windows 11 without any extra software. We don't need any extra software to install to do this thing. So let's see how we can do this thing. At first, from our Windows 11 computer or Windows 10 computer, we have to click this search, this box over there and then start typing run and we will see the run application is there or system run something is there we just need to click here and the run window will be opened here here we need to type on command that is disk then management mgmt and the extension is dot msc so this command we need to type once we type this command then it's time to press the ok button i'm going to press this ok button and very shortly the disk of my computer will be loaded shortly here so here we are seeing that this is my disk 0 and this is the cd-rom and it has three partition one is recovery and there is uh, efi file part partition anyway we don't need to think about that so our goal is to divide this partition so right now the c drive it has like almost 80 gigabyte of capacity so i want to partition it like I want to make a 10 gigabyte partition and rest like uh, 70 this is like 80 right so 70 giga and another is 10 giga so to make this thing we just need to select the partition which you want to uh, f like shrink or create the partition from there right now it is 80 gigabyte right we want to create a partition inside it so that means the C volume I mean the C drive it will be shrink right if it is not shrink then we cannot create the partition right so definitely we need to shrink this partition so to do this thing right click on top of this drive and then it will pop up this type of menu and from here one of the menu option is shrink volume we just need to choose this one once you click shrink volume it will process something querying volume for available shrink space it is checking whether there is enough space to shrink this volume or not so here we are seeing the total size before shrink this is the total hard disk size so which is almost 80 gigabyte and size available shrink in a space like we can shrink till this part and enter the amount of space shrink in the amount okay so suppose we want to shrink uh, like 10 gigabyte so what we need to do we can type 10 it is exactly not 10 gigabyte because uh, like this size on 0 to 4 equal to 1 gigabyte so if we want to uh, make it 10 gigabyte basically we just need to put another 0 so this will be this will be the uh, new hard disk, new, uh, new drive or new partition size and this is the total uh, size after shrink in megabyte this 70 gigabyte and this is 10 gigabyte 80 gigabyte so once we choose this thing uh, here i did such a way like new uh, like enter the amount of the space to shrink in a megabyte 10 giga and 70 giga so i'm going to click here And after clicking there, we are seeing that it shrink like this two location, uh, two partition, right? This is 10 gigabyte, and this is the 69 gigabyte. This 69 gigabyte, basically, it was 80 gigabyte, and we shrink to like almost 79 gigabyte. It was before 80 gigabyte, and this is the new one, right? So after using, after creating this partition, we cannot use it. If we try to explore our Windows, we will not see that partition. See? c d but that partition is not there right so to make it usable what you need to do we need to select this thing uh, 10 gigabyte which is unlocated unallocated right click and then we have to choose on of this option new simple volume so i'm going to select this option and then it's showing welcome to new simple volume wizard and we have to press the next button to go forward and everything is fine this is like what is the size this 10 giga and then hit the next button to go to the next step and assign it uh, assign 
the following drive letter okay if we click here we will see all the drive letters are there okay but it is not showing which is already assigned so right now it is showing like c and d c drive is the hard disk and d drive is the uh, dvd rom or cd rom whatever you can say like that so here we have to choose other than the, that two like c and d so we can choose anything like we can uh, choose a drive like c so i'm going to choose this one basically it will assign the drive letter and then i'm going to press this next button to go to the next step now here we need to format the disk so that we can use it so there are two types of file system ntfs and fat 32 ntfs is the secure file system so i'm going to use this thing but if your computer is already uh, the hard disk in your computer is already in fat 32 then use fat 32 for my case it is ntfs that's why i am choosing ntfs also and allocation unit size we don't need to choose anything and volume level you can type a volume level whatever you want like we can put a volume like movies suppose this drive is for movies or short clips something like that and like that and there is uh, on check mark perform a quick format i'm not going to understand this thing and then i'm going to press the next button to go to the next step so here it is showing all the summary like whatever we choose we choose the drive letter z and we name the volume name as movies now once we are ready then we can press the finish button to start formatting this drive to assign the drive and uh, this drive like z and also uh, to set the file system as ntfs and if we want to change our mind or if we change our mind then we can go back also and we can change everything whatever you want now i'm not going to change anything i'm going to press the next button and once i press the next button it is asking three buttons are there back finish cancel finish means it will start finishing this thing i mean all the uh, settings are done now it will start formatting that disk okay so i'm going to press this finish button and once we uh, press the finish button we'll see that it's done already and here it is showing movie z select to choose what happened to the movie we don't need to do this thing we, uh, we can ignore it so here it is showing like c drive and this is the new drive which we created and both of them are ntfs and it is 10 gigabyte of size and it is 69 gigabyte size so also here we are seeing the same c z okay now we are ready to use this thing and if we refresh we will see this is a c drive and this is a z drive so if we open this thing now we can keep your files or folders or you can create new file over here whatever you want or new folder you can create here so that's it guys in this way we can easily create a partition in windows 11 computer or windows 10 computer we don't need any extra software to install or something like that we don't need to pay any single penny also we can use that utility to create this partition and once we create this partition we can close this thing and that's it guys hopefully by watching this video you are able to create a partition for your computer based on your own requirement thank you guys for watching the video if you have any question or comment please put in the comment section